In this Melbourne mansion, a most unusual dating experiment is about to take place. I'm looking for the one. We want to answer the age-old question, is love blind? I'm really just hoping to find love in the dark. Three single men and three single ladies will meet in complete darkness. Bring it on. <laughs> in a specially designed dating room, this is what they'll see. Yeah, this is insane. Oh, we can't see your hand, though. But this is what we can see using special infrared cameras. Wow, that just feels absolutely amazing. Yeah. After a series of dates with each other, they'll choose the one partner they'd like to see revealed. We've definitely clicked personality-wise, so hopefully there's an attraction there as well. But what will happen when the lights are turned on? I have this inkling feeling that she's actually a prawn. It's where you rip the head off and keep the body. Can they find true love on personality alone? I'm just not sure if he's my type, so I've really got a hard decision to make. Do looks really matter? He's to find in love, girl. Yes. <laughs> These people are about to find out by dating in the dark. My name's Eli Samuelu. I'm 26 years old and I'm a graphic designer. I think I'd describe my personality as quite outgoing, boisterous. I'm a bit of a clown. Usually the type of girls I'm attracted to are they're quite stylish and um, natural beauties. The kind of female version of me, but sexier. My name is Matthew, I'm 25 years old and I'm in sales and marketing. I've been single for a few months now, it's probably because I'm a little bit of a party boy. I've had a few serious relationships, none of them have worked out up until now, so I'm looking for the one. How you going, mate? Hey, man. I'm Matt. Nice to meet you, Eli. What do you reckon? Yeah, nice view, eh? I wonder where the ladies are. My name's Alfredo, I'm 25 years of age and I work for one of the four major banks of Australia. I don't really have a type. Uh, they can be blonde, brunette, uh, tall or short. Uh, it's more about communication, and I'm looking for someone that I can have fun with, and they can have fun with me. Hey, young boys. Hey, young man. I'm Matt. Matt, nice to meet you, Alfredo. Eli. Eli, nice to meet you. Me too, man. My name's Lorindel. I'm 26 years old, and I work as a flight attendant. I'm bubbly. I'm always positive, and I love going out for a drink and partying. I've been single for two years. I think because of my job, I work a lot of hours and it really prevents me from going on a lot of dates. I'm really just hoping to find love in the dark. My name is Megan, I'm 23 and I work as a stripper. I've been single for a year and a half because uh, my ex is a complete douche and I haven't been able to take men seriously since. Because I am a stripper, people assume that I'm dumb and, and that's all i got going for me, but um, I actually do accounting for an engineering company. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm Lorindel. I'm nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How excited. Do you want a champagne? Wait. I would love Excellent. wine. <laughs> My name's Danielle. I'm 22 and I'm a bookkeeper. Normally I find myself attracted to the very easygoing guy with a good sense of humour. I'm hoping to find a man that's just a man's man, isn't afraid to get his hands dirty. Someone that makes me laugh, makes me smile. I'm Danny. I'm nice Megan. to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Danny. Lorindo. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Well, here's to finding love, girls. Yeah, cheers to that. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Judging girls on their personality, not the boob size. Chin chin. <laughs> Hi boys. Hi. I'm Laura, your host. Now, as you know, we're here to try to answer the age-old question, is love really blind? We're going to keep you boys totally separate in your own area away from the girls, and the only chance you'll meet with them is in the dark. Now, to kick things off, we're going to start with a group date, in the dark room, of course. Remember, you won't be able to see the boys, but it will give you a chance to get to know them a bit better. Have fun, and I'll see you Thank soon. You. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Shut me, it's done. Okay. Oh, I touched your head. <laughs> Man touch. 
Adam, I'm going straight. Wait, I've got, I've got a table in front of me, hey? It doesn't really bother me being in the dark. Uh, most nightclubs are dark, so I'm used to that. Yeah, this is insane. Oh, you man. probably can't see your hand, eh? No. Like a, a deer when he goes to Copperfield and blame it on the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Walking into the dark room for the first time, I was just looking forward to meeting the guys and to seeing what they were like and what they were looking for. Oh, that's a person. Hey, hello. Hi, how's it going? That's your hand. Yeah. Can I just stand here? Wait, can you come this way and then follow? Oh, okay, yeah. Are you guys? Yeah, okay. And then And then slap. Okay, so what are your names? Um, I'm Alfredo on the far, I don't know if it's left or right, it'd be the all left. Alfredo. 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 Put your arm out. Like yeah. the frog? It's out. <laughs> oh, oh, there. So you're oh, Alfredo. Alfredo. <laughs> and that's he's in the middle. I'm Matt. Matt. And I'm Eli. And I'm Eli. Okay. And you guys? Um, I'm Lorindal. I'm Megan. And I'm Danny. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Hi. So, Fredo, what do you do? I uh, work for uh, a bank. Bank, yeah. Yeah. And then, Matt, what do you do? I'm in sales and marketing. Okay. Oh, very good. You like? Uh, I'm a graphic designer. Oh, oh great. Awesome. awesome. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> my kind of guy. <laughs> well, um, I live life on the edge as an account administrator. Oh, I could really? just be here for days talking about data entry, really. Just don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell them I'm a stripper because um, I just don't want to get judged on that. Um, I want to be taken seriously by the boys in the dark room. You sound like a pretty outgoing girl. What, uh, what else do you do? Yeah. Um, what so... do you do, Danny, for work? <laughs> <laughs> Danny, we can't do hear you. Very exciting bookkeeper. <laughs> so I don't do anything exciting at all. Um, I'm a flight attendant. Lovely. Nice. Travel is a big thing for me. Mm, uh, there we what, go. That's what, <laughs> that's what made me decide to come on this show. Mm. To travel? Like... No, to find someone to travel with. Oh, wow. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're proud of that. <laughs> so, how long have you guys been single for? Oh, I've been single for about about a year and a half now, but so have I. Choice. <laughs> high five. Yeah, high five. We're yeah. <laughs> yeah, we kind of got that. Yeah, I felt your thumb. Look at <laughs> the other boys. Probably about a year and a half ago as well for me. Yeah. I was in um, London with my girlfriend, and I got a um, a rugby contract in Europe. Yeah. Oh, for wow. six months, so I applied that and then travelled around for six months. I was there for a year, and uh, we tried the long distance thing for a while. Never and was. No, oh, yeah, how terrible yeah, I've tried was it? that as well. It just doesn't work. What about you, Matt? Yeah, she was a flight attendant, but I like that <laughs> one. Oh, there we go. 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 I was thinking that when you said it. <laughs> no, it's got its perks. Um, yeah. But then they're very outgoing people, too, so that's what I like as well. Yeah. Mm. But you never know what we get up to on Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> Does anyone remember right. where the door is? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you recommend? I was thinking Lorindal. Yeah. Yeah, Lorindal. I'm in sales. She's in in customer service, so it means yeah, yeah. she's she's out there. She can she can chat. She's you know she can hold a conversation. I'm tossed up between Matt and Eli. I like the name Eli. Yeah. Same. And the fact that he plays rugby, I think, could definitely be a bonus. Mm. I'm the same. I'm sort of tossing up between Matt and Eli, but yeah. I'm leaning more towards Eli at this we stage. We have the same taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, off, that's fine. I'll have Alfredo. Yeah. <laughs> I'll change his name, though. I'm not yeah. going that out in bed. <laughs> Honestly, I'd, I'd say Danielle. Yeah, for sure. Dude, I was going to do Danielle's work. Well. By all means, by all means, please go. It doesn't... No, she came across as, um, cool. Well, I'm pretty excited to start this one-on-one -on -one action and see what they're really like. Good luck, guys. Coming up... Jackpot. The daters sneak a look in each other's drawers. Just my time! As the competition <laughs> stiffens up. Oh, I tell you something else that's getting hard in this room. <laughs> on the search for love in the dark. Hi, 
girls. Hello. Hi. So tell me, how was your first dating in the dark experience? Yeah, exciting. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> okay, well, you're probably wondering what we're doing here in the boys' bedroom. I'm going to give you the chance to go through the boys' drawers to help you decide who you want to take on your first individual dates. Have fun. Okay, thanks. Thank you. I want to open Eli's. <laughs> ah, what have oh, we got? Okay, hacky sack. So like, you know, sporty sort of yeah, guy, very but outdoorsy. a little bit young though. I did think that was a little bit immature and that maybe he's probably not quite what I'm looking for. Danielle first. Yep. yep. Tina Traggett. She likes the sports, huh? Yeah, milk bath from the body shop. So she obviously looks after her skin and stuff like that, I guess. <laughs> Just my time. <laughs> One thing that really turned me off was Alfredo's 1,000 sex games. I'm not sure yeah, about Yeah, I'm not this sure about so, those. Um, what are they, rosary beads? Yeah, I'm, in, I'm actually an atheist. Oh. I'm too much of a bad girl to... You to, are a bad girl. ...to be with a religious <laughs> person. All right, let's check out Megan's guys. I bet you there's something kinky in here. You yeah, can feel it. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> wow. She loves to get dressed up, yep. obviously. That is tiny. That is That is one of the smallest things I've ever seen. Let's Matthew. do Matthew. Rugby. Mm. You know, I am getting into the rugby, so <laughs> sports guy, definitely mm -hmm. my type. Let's see what Lorendal has for us in here, eh? Oh, we've got a lot of postcards here. I imagine she's travelled. Yeah. Massage oil. I'm a footy player, so can't ever knock back a good massage. I reckon, if anything, this has made it just a little bit harder to make a choice. Yeah. Because I'd be happy with all three, to be honest with you. And... Was going for Eli, but he seems a bit immature, I think. Yeah, with that hacky sack. Yeah, I think I'm more into Matt yeah. now. Oh, well, looks like we've got a bit of a game on our hands. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> So how was it, girls? Yeah, it was interesting. interesting. Very yeah. interesting. OK, well, now you've got to know the boys a bit better, it's time to send out the all-important invitations for your first individual dates. So here's the iPad. It's time to send your message. Now that they have a better idea of each other's personalities, the guys and girls choose the one person they'd like to get to know better in the darkroom. Please meet me in the darkroom for some sweet, sweet fun. Kiss. Oh. <laughs> First up was Megan, who invited Alfredo. So, Megan, let me ask, why did you pick me? You said that we were alike. Uh, you had the 1,000 sex games. <laughs> I'm sure from my personal items, you've um, yeah. <laughs> figured what I like. I, I did, and I have to admit, you, you must be very fit to fit in that uh, <laughs> little lingerie piece that you had, which, by the way, was amazingly sexy. <laughs> Thank you. No, you're welcome, by all means. <laughs> you feel me do the feel. That's my bum. <laughs> oh, my God, girl. <laughs> You are fine. Thank you. That's it. Okay, so where else can I go? <laughs> well, here, you can feel up here. Tell me if you think they're real or not. Okay. <laughs> honest? Can I be honest with yeah. you? Yeah. I don't think they are. <laughs> I know. How hard are they? Oh, I can tell you something else that's getting hard in this room. <laughs> wow. All right. How far are we going down? <laughs> <laughs> She's got lots of confidence in herself and she just doesn't care, she doesn't judge, she just goes for it. It's like a breath of fresh air because it's just like, oh, I can relax now too, you know, and let's just be comfortable. <laughs> it was lovely to meet you. <laughs> Likewise. Whether or not she's uh, relationship material, I'd have to say no. I've had, I've had girls like her before and they're up for a good time, but now I'm looking for something a little more serious. Danielle then joined Alfredo in the dark room after he invited her. Are been, you a religious guy? You're talking about the rosemary beads mm -hmm. I put in there, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did so, you just say rosemary beads? Isn't that what they are? Oh my god. No, they're rosary beads. I said rosemary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shows you how religious I am. <laughs> like, I'm not religious. I even know that. <laughs> I think for Alfredo, referring to rosary beads as rosemary beads, I think he's probably a few sandwiches short of a picnic. <laughs> how good is that? Are you kidding me? I'm not the type of person to judge other people, and therefore I don't like being judged myself, because she needs to 
get to know me first. Where's your hand? Here. Okay. <laughs> Where's Where here? You? I'm here, I'm here. Okay, well. Nice look. to meet you. Oh, thanks. Pleasure to meet you. I don't think that Alfredo would want to date me again. I think he knows that we don't have enough in common to sustain anything. Next up, it was Matthew's turn to try and measure up to Danielle's expectations. Should we stand up? I want to see how tall you are. Yeah, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. I've got heels on. Okay. So I'm not this tall normally. Yeah, there you are. Oh, you're really tall. Yes. Having a bit of a... No weapons, that's good. <laughs> bit of a pat, yeah. yeah. I went in for the group with Matt. That was important for me. <laughs> I love Zumba. Yeah, <laughs> Zumba's fun. Yeah. I was at a nightclub and I seen a girl doing the Zumba dance. <laughs> and I went out to her and I go, you're a Zumba dance. <laughs> I would pay money to watch you shake your booty. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you got a nice bum. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> the date with Danielle went really well. I was surprised. I thought she was a little bit more quieter and shy, but getting to know her, she's got a very likeable personality. So we Zumba on the next day? Definitely. Right. Shake on it. Shake on it. Kiss. Thank you very much. I hope Matt liked me. I, I think he did, judging by how we sort of left things. He gave me a little kiss on the cheek and he walked me to the front door, so I thought that was really sweet. Lorindal was next in the dark room after she invited Matthew. The massage oil. I was very intrigued by that. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to ask, like, are, are you expecting oh, no. a massage? Or do you uh, like that'd be nice. Your... <laughs> If I'm ever going to get a massage, I have to give one first. That's one of my rules. Ah, oh, that's good. Because I enjoy it better once I've already satisfied someone. I guess Aww. in the way that I got it, he likes to get girls off first before he likes to get himself off. Tell me more, like, about travelling and stuff. I just recently went through Europe, so I did uh, Paris and Barcelona, Ibiza, yeah. and then Italy. Yeah, and when I was sort of sitting there on the gondola in Venice just thinking, I want to have all of these really good memories that I have, but I want to have yeah. someone with it so that I can tell my kids well, one that's day. that's the same, like, with my job. I think there's a little bit of chemistry. I think we get along really well. We have the same interests, so it'd be really interesting to find out where this goes. Where's your face? <laughs> well, I'm sort of seeing <laughs> the side of her that I, I think I saw in the first place. I'm thinking, wow, you know, she's probably the one that eventually down the track you'd be with. And for her second date, Lorindal was joined by Eli, who invited her. Where are you? I'll hold the drinks if you want. Well, let's hug it out first. Hello. Okay. <laughs> oh, I just hit you in the head. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Oh, nice to meet you. He was really short. That's not my type at all. So you're a um, pet fan? A what? Pet fan. Pet. Oh, do you like animals? <laughs> 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 Do you have any uh, cats or dogs? It oh was just God. hilarious when he asked me if I had pits. And I was like, pits? What's pits? He was like, oh, it tastes the kiwi guy. <laughs> I play touch like twice a week and yeah. indoor netball as well over here, which indoor netball I find like quite hard on the joints because it's like sudden. <laughs> Well, yeah. Why don't I hope say it's that? mixed. <laughs> yeah, it's mixed. You're probably like the goal shooter or something. <laughs> yeah. <well. laughs> That's like the girliest uh, position. I know. Well, I used like, to. Ooh. It's definitely way too metrosexual. I don't think I could date a guy who plays a netball. Uh, yeah. Thank uh, you so much for a good day. No, I you. loved it. It's a cool check, man. We had a lot of laughs. I had a snuggle, about ten hugs. So how do you feel about me dating her? Yeah, I, I think it's really good. We'll see who she picks in the end, I guess. Yeah, man, for sure. Chin chin. Okay. Coming up, the guys are matched with their perfect partners for the compatibility dates. Ooh, that's huge. And the results are off the charts. Little Alfredo is not so little. I can <laughs> Good morning, girls. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, well, today we're going to reveal who your most compatible partner should be. Excellent. So our experts have listened to what you're looking for in a partner and also analysed your questionnaires to come up with who they think you're most compatible with. So once we reveal that person, you'll go on a date with them and I think you'll find the results may surprise you. Thanks. That should be interesting. <laughs> Danielle. Danielle. Oh. 
I did like him in the beginning, so I don't know. Maybe I should give him a chance. Yeah. Megan. Megan. Oh. There we go. Alfredo. Alfredo, I'm guessing. No. Oh. 81%. Ooh, that's huge. So I'm walking in my boxes in there, right? OK. <laughs> Matthew. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. I'm a bit jealous. Oh. I wanted to get Matthew. We definitely have to kiss Matthew now. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if he's lucky. <laughs> The first couple to put their compatibility to the test was Eli and Danielle. Hello. Hey. Yeah, I'm excited to go on a date with Danielle. We'll really hit it off. We've got the same interests and I really liked her on the first initial group date. Come on in for a hug. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to, meet you. to be honest, I was secretly wishing to be matched with Matt, yes. but I'm definitely going to give Eli a fair chance. You said you had a rugby contract, didn't you? Yeah, I played overseas in London. Where else have you travelled to? <laughs> I went to Argentina um, to play rugby, yeah. I'm dying to go to Argentina. I'll make it to Spain when I was up in Europe. Oh, I'm dying to go to Spain yeah. and Morocco. Oh, how cool would that be? Yeah, definitely. Maybe we should just book tickets now. Yeah, let's do it. We talked um, and Neil. played around a bit. <laughs> and uh, I think it wasn't all one way. She was loving touching my body. I could so wrestle you to the ground. Probably, but I'm pretty strong. I don't think so. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Watch out for the guns. Oh. oh. Do I get two tickets for those? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Well, we've definitely got a lot of chemistry. <laughs> we were very playful with each other, very flirty. Oh, how fun. Oh, tell me about it. I, <laughs> I think I definitely got Eli's attention. Yeah. He's very outgoing, very confident, so I think we really get along in that way. It was really nice meeting I'm going to give you another kiss on the cheek. Oh, or on the lips. Now that I've gone on a date with Eli, I can see that I really do have the most compatibility with him, and I think the experts definitely got it right. Hey, um, I'll see you later. Definitely. <laughs> Lorindal and Matthew were next to put our psychologist to the test. I had 88% compatibility with Matt, and that didn't surprise me. There's a lot of things in common that we have, so I was really excited about that. So can I feel your face? Because that seems like an interesting okay. thing to do. <laughs> right, where is it? Oh, no, I should <laughs> You did just lick my finger. Yeah. She's got that little bit of a naughty side and went for the lick of the finger. I thought that was cute. I wasn't going to ask for a kiss for now, I want to. Mm, you can have a little one. A little one? Yeah. I don't know why. Wait. Okay. okay. He had really soft limbs, so maybe a little bit too soft. Yeah, well, this is going through too soon, I hope. OK, might see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> After the date, I felt like definitely we're fairly compatible. Um, and I think there is a little bit of chemistry there. I definitely want to get to know more. <laughs> All right, well, goodbye. See ya. I'm blowing your kiss. OK. <laughs> Bye-bye. I definitely wanted to get dressed up in my lingerie for him and just go out with a bang, give him something to remember me by. Hello. Hello, Megan. 81% <laughs> compatibility, huh? Yeah, I know, right? That's pretty high. <laughs> there you are. I'm good. How are you? Not bad yourself. Good. I I like to dress up in costumes, so yeah, I've actually dressed up for you. I so wish I could see you right now. I bet. You, you drive me crazy. <laughs> But just this touching, my senses are going crazy. It just feels, you know, I can hear your voice. I can taste you. Where's your shirt? I'm actually just in my boxes at the moment. Really? I'm in my underwear as well. I'm wearing my socks as well. But they do say that guys orgasm harder when they're wearing socks. Really? Yeah, you don't know that, really. No, I didn't know that. She smelled great. <laughs> she definitely smelled good, and um, she tastes nice as well. <laughs> but look, this might offend you, but I'm definitely an ass man. <laughs> I can't see, but... Oh, you can feel. Here, where's your hands? Yeah. <laughs> hey, anyway, I'm definitely going to need two hands to inspect this one. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That is just amazing. He's a bum man and I like my bum being touched, so <laughs> he's done everything right so far. How many sexual partners do you think you've had? Um, probably 50. Probably 50? Yeah. Half of those are girls. 
half of those are girls. <laughs> I'm bisexual. Bisexual? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> a woman is great, but she can't do what a man can do. Like, a woman can't make me come like a man can. Yeah, <laughs> straight up. Yeah, for our last few minutes, I thought I'd just steam it up a little bit more. Hey. Hello. <laughs> How are you going? Mm. It got very, very heated in the dark room. It felt like more of a sauna, <laughs> to be honest with you. Little Alfredo came out to play, and uh, little Alfredo isn't quite so little. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Ciao, Bella. Ciao. <laughs> I'm very confused with myself on exactly what I want to do here because I come on this show to actually look for something serious and something that I can maybe settle down with, and Megan's not that at all. <laughs> so the lingerie definitely did the trick. Once he did the pat down, um, the boxes definitely moved. <laughs> How did the um, outfit go down? She was actually in there pretty much the same thing. No way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No joke. She was having these um, uh, these uh, fishnet stockings on. My sexual attraction for this girl right now is just skyrocketed. Like I even told her, I said um, that men orgasm 80% more when they're wearing socks during sex. <laughs> is that a real stat? That's a fact, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't like that because you wear my socks. <laughs> Coming up, the pressure builds before the final date. It's blowing up. We're blowing Boom. up. But will it be a love explosion? Come meet me in the dark because I'm almost ready to blow. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so tell me, did the compatibility experts get it right? Did, definitely. definitely. <laughs> yeah. OK. Well, now it's time for your final dates. And as a treat, we're going to send you back to the Roman times for some serious pampering. But first, you must do as the Romans do and dress the part. Oh, no. <laughs> so you'll need to send your invites now. <laughs> Our compatibility experts got it right with all three matched couples reuniting for their final date. Oh. Eli and Danielle invited each other. Kiss hug. Yes. And both Alfredo and Megan made their feelings clear. Come meet me in the dark because I'm almost ready to blow. <laughs> But first, Matthew and Lorindle stepped back in time for their third and final date. <laughs> it felt good. I'm like not even dressed. What? Why are you wet? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm in a bath. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the final date was insane. I walked in in a toga with my bathers on. And um, yeah, it was it was really good fun. Ah, oh, there we go. I've got the grapes. Cool. Would you like a grape? Yes, please. <laughs> Where's your face? Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, there's one. Okay, now I'm gonna aim. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I did not get you. Right in between the eyes. <laughs> oh, yum. Can you give me like a scrub on the back? Oh, yeah. Let me turn around. The oil and the heat of the uh, the bath definitely added to a bit of steam. We got a little bit slippery and wet in there, and yeah, we got a little bit X-rated with that. <laughs> All right, so I guess it's time to go. Mm-hmm. Ready to kiss goodbye? Yeah. Okay. I'm just joking. I'll see you soon. Okay. <laughs> wow, where did all the wool go? Bye. See ya. Hey, boys. What's hey, going on, mate? mate? That glowing smile again. Tell us a story. Tell us a story. It was really good. Yeah? Yeah. We gave each other a little bit of a wash and um, had a bit of a cuddle and then a couple of kisses. It was so bizarre. He sort of laid in between me. The legs. Oh. He didn't really get anything. <laughs> Did you at least kiss him? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Eli and Danielle chose each other for their final date before the light reveal. I want to get a bit more playful, maybe a bit physical with her. Because <laughs> the last one, we just we talked and we, we connected, so I think it's time to change it up a little. 
Hi, Tom. Ah, good to see you again. I assumed when I got in there that we would be facing each other, but she jumped in the other way where we're just kind of spooning, which was quite nice. We got really, um, really touchy-feely with that position. Touching my boobs, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm just giving you the proper wash. <laughs> <laughs> I give you the hand massage, too. You do? It's nice. The massage was really good. Unbelievable. He was sort of massaging my hand and showing me where all your connection points are, like to your heart and your liver. Back and this part here. Apparently, this is your... Um, Female genitalia. <laughs> Do you massage that often? Well, only when I feel comfortable. So. <laughs> I massaged her hand using some reflexology, and then I may have just rubbed all over her body just to make sure she was clean. Maybe just getting a little rouse. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I think she might have been a bit scared to kiss me. Uh, do you want to kiss? I'll tell you what, if we meet on the balcony, I'll give you a really big kiss. All right. It was definitely a really sensual date with Eli. I'm definitely on cloud nine right now. That was the best date I've had by far. Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> you better have kissed him. Please tell what us happened? what is the news. Did you kiss him? No. Oh! An amazing date. Like, oh, loved it. <laughs> it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty sexual. Not much talking. Mm. What I wanted to do. It's a lot of hands on. A lot of hands on, huh? A lot of body washing. Up, abs. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> With the final date, what I believe is at stake at the moment is whether I determine to um, pursue this further. I actually want to get a little bit more of uh, communication between one another. Something that I think hasn't happened as of yet. It's just been more fun and playful. <laughs> it's not the wind bar from the water, so that I have my bikini on. Are you? <laughs> you sure do, don't you? <laughs> it's a bit too small for me. They're right. kind of spilling out over the top. So. No judge. <laughs> yes. Too small for your body. <laughs> I don't agree with that. I think it's a perfect fit. <laughs> Never in my life have experienced something like this, where I've gone this far with an actual girl and not known what she looks like. So, um, I'm interested to know a little bit more about you. I was just about to say that, too. Yeah, with right. my boob in your face. <laughs> 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 you enjoyed it, that, I do. <laughs> so, you have any questions for me? One last ask, Grant. Uh, you're, you're an ask, Grant. Oh, I'm not going to say anything. So, um, why not? Wow, that just feels absolutely amazing. Yeah. This reminds me of soft porn. I know it is. Oh, sweetie. Naughty boy. Yeah, I'm the naughty boy here, am I? Yeah. Yeah. I'm the naughty girl, and you're clearly the naughty boy. No, I know, reckon she's not going to do Extremely careful right now. Yes, this definitely. Really dangerous. Yes. Are you alright? Buffs around this way. <laughs> so, yeah. Probably had some sexy time. Here he is now. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> You're singing the truth with that song, man, right there. <laughs> so, how do you feel about Megan after the date? Look, I definitely want to see her, yeah. you know what I mean? Because the mind is just bobbling with what she actually looks like. I have this inkling feeling that she's actually a prawn. Uh, for people who don't know what a prawn is, it's where you bite the head off, uh, where you rip the head off and keep the body. Blow it up, I Blow guess. Blow it up. Blow it up. We're blowing Blow. up. <laughs> Coming up, the guys and girls choose who they want to see in the light reveal. I'm pretty excited to see what she looks like. But will what they see in the light match what they loved in the dark? All I can say is, fuck, I'm good. <laughs> It's Judgment Day. 
The guys and girls have to pick the one person they wanted to see revealed in the light. Matthew and Lorindle chose each other. I have chosen Matt. He's out of all the best that I've gotten along with and I'm really excited to see him in the reveal. I'm pretty excited to see what she looks like. Sort of, she'll either be my type or she won't, but, you know, sometimes when your type's not working, then you need a new type. I'm definitely feeling a bit of pressure. Um, I hope that I live up to his expectations. what you're expecting or yeah like he's cute mm. yep um he's probably not the typical guy that i would go for are you going to meet him on the balcony don't know <laughs> i'll have yeah. to have a think <laughs> well the smile then. is that a good smile yeah it's a good smile yeah she, she looks like a flight attendant she does yeah she's pretty hot so yeah. you're definitely going to meet up with her i think so yeah <laughs> <laughs> um you're up next i think yeah mate my time to shine right, good man. luck mate she's good nice. nice. get in there Woo! <laughs> Eli and Danielle both chose to see each other in the light. I hope Danielle likes what she sees. I'm quite a, I think, a creative looking guy and I might not be everyone's taste. Beautiful piercing brown eyes, like nice tan. Looked sweet, had an innocent look about him, which I like. And really connected, like his personality is like everything that I look for. So would you be keen to see her on the balcony? If we made enough of a connection. Yeah. Yeah. Megan and Alfredo invited each other to the light reveal. I'm not feeling the pressure now that it's about my looks. I think Alfredo will like what he sees. The, like shape like was it little and petite you know? her body yeah it's smashing touching and feeling that is exactly what it is in, yeah. in the light he's i think he's my type like so yeah. will you meet him on the balcony i think i want to go on the balcony 
Coming up, which couples will meet on the balcony and who will walk away? I've really got a hard decision to make. The guys and girls have seen each other in the light and now they have to make their final decisions. If they like what they see and they want to continue dating, they'll choose to meet here on the balcony. And if not, they'll walk out the front door. It's time to see who has found love in the dark. If I decide to go out in the balcony and she doesn't come, I won't take it personally. But she will be missing out on meeting a great guy. I'm really nervous about meeting Matt on the balcony. He's got a great look. He wears the right type of clothes. But I'm just not sure about the age difference. He looks really young and I'm really looking for a guy that's a bit older. So I came out into the balcony first. Um, she wasn't there. And so I was standing around waiting for a little bit, looking at both doors to see what was going to happen. to walk away from Matthew. Um, it wasn't about his looks at the end of the day. It was just that he was way too young for me. He's a sweet guy and he's going to make a girl really happy one day. Uh, there's no hard feelings. I wanted to get to know her a little bit more. She didn't want that, so, you know, move on to the next one. I've decided to go and meet Danielle. I'm just getting a bit anxious. Just kind of want to know if she's going to come or go. I'm really not sure about meeting Eli on the balcony. We definitely connected in the dark. I'm just not sure if he's my type. So I've really got a hard decision to make. When we were in the bath, she promised me a snog. She didn't come out for it. She's a phony. The reason why I walked away was because of Eli's looks, and it does make me feel superficial, but at the end of the day, my heart wasn't in it. Not 100% sure why she didn't come. It can't be these looks. Have you seen this? Can you see this? I've got a really big decision to make about Alfredo. I don't know if he's a player or not, or if he is really honestly considering something more serious. At present, it's a really difficult decision about meeting Megan on the balcony. Um, I'm still umming and ahhing about it. Uh, which way I go, I'm still not sure. I was standing on the balcony and all that's running through my head is, he's not going to come. I was happy I couldn't quite see the front door, so at least I had a little bit of time to prepare if I <laughs> saw him walking out.
Were you waiting long? Yes, I was torture. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You're shaking. I'm shaking a lot. Yeah. I'm really happy I came here. This is, um, it's definitely been a different experience for me and it's nothing like what I thought it would be. You're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's nerve-wracking. Yeah, I feel so sorry. <laughs> sorry for that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this may be the beginning of something fantastic. I'll just have to wait and see. Next for us would be the closest hotel. You can see even more in the dark online with naughty dating games, the singles entry and exit videos, and saucy unseen extras too hot for television. Make a date with Fox8.tv. I'm after something probably a bit more meaningful. Someone I can really connect with. Find a guy just for his personality. Try and look for the girl in my dreams. Six singles, all with good intentions. Something's happening down below. <laughs> But when you date in total darkness, oh. anything could go down. <laughs> Dating in the Dark Australia, next Tuesday, 9.30, exclusive to Fox 8.